what's a pneumothorax and what kind of pain does it cause? So cause? A pneumothorax, so the lung, it's millions of balloons, but think of it as a balloon. It can pop, okay? So some people have predispositions to that. Maybe I have underlying lung disease. Maybe I have COPD and emphysema. Maybe I have asthma. Maybe I have cystic fibrosis, which increases my risk of a pneumothorax. So that's a secondary pneumothorax. How can you tell if a patient has a pneumothorax, a collapsed lung? Does it collapse the whole lung or just a little bit? Or? Well, he can do all that, okay? But that's where your physical exam comes in. Usually be diminished or absent breath sounds on that side. X-ray, I mean, everybody with chest pain, get a chest X-ray and an EKG. A chest X-ray tells you all kinds of things. Hey, what can it tell you about the heart and about pneumothorax? What is it? Yeah. What is it? Well, if you have an acute coronary syndrome, maybe you see uh, evidence of right ventricular failure or pulmonary edema. So the right ventricular failure, the right side of the heart, and you can see that it gets bigger and large, the chest gets... Yeah. Looks like there's fluid. Or in the there. right descending pulmonary artery may be enlarged too. So there's a lot of clues there. Other things on the chest x ray you might notice, we always see them on our board exams <laughs> a little wet, peripheral wedge shaped infiltrate called Hampton's hump. And then there's Westermark sign. You follow the blood vessels out, and all of a sudden they stop. Okay? Those would be clues of pulmonary embolism. But pneumothorax is there's no, no markings, and the lung, you can see the pleural lining and air.